Regardless of your opinion of what the Astros did, their punishment or lack thereof, we are beginning to see real world effects that are going to change baseball for the future. Hey guys, it's Josh and Not Any Know It All coming to you today to talk about some things that I've been seeing around baseball. And although they're related to and directly related to the Astros and the situation that's going on right now with everything uh, from the team, the players, coaches, commissioner, fellow players, uh, it's actually having effects widespread across baseball. And so we're going to talk about that a little bit today. Before we do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's free to do. All you got to do is click the subscribe button, which is right down below the video or at the end of the video, I'll have my logo. Uh, it will be, I think, up here. And you just click on that, and it'll let you subscribe as well. So it's free. Let you know when videos come out. I try and do them every day. Got a lot of great interviews coming out. And spring training baseball actually starts today. And that is, I'm loving it. I'm loving the fact that we're having real games starting. It's not just pitchers and catchers reporting. It's a real thing. I'm, I'm pumped for that. You guys, if you notice behind me, got a little bit different setup up here. Uh, my wife told me she was tired of seeing my hats all over the, the place. So I started throwing some of them up in a little triangle up there. Obviously, I got this one on. I got more here. Um, I've got more somewhere else. I don't even know where they're at. I don't have as big a collection as some people, but I, I've still got hats. I collect hats. And just so you know, if you are a college team, summer web team, or even just a uh, maybe a travel team during the summer, and you want to send me a hat, I'm a size large. Uh, just message me, 98 all at gmail.com. I'll give you my address. I do accept bribes. I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, yeah, send me some hats. S shirts work too. So guys, let's jump right into this. And oh my gosh, I I've been sitting here breaking down in my head things that are going on and how they're affecting baseball. And... There's just so much that, that is happening in a negative way that I think is going to affect baseball, not just this year, not just next year, but maybe for the next 10, 20 years. And it's a big deal. So first thing I'm seeing a lot of is leagues, little leagues across the nation are actually taking away uh, the Astros as one of their teams and they're replacing it with some of the other teams that they don't have maybe in circulation at this point. So uh, in case you don't know, a lot of little leagues will use like Mariners, Tigers, Orioles, Yankees, you know, maybe not even the Yankees, but they'll use different teams like that. And that way the kids will, you know, they're, they're wearing their, the Major League Baseball team logo, that type of stuff. It's a cool thing. And that creates a lot of fans. In fact, I was just reading a, a thread on Twitter just a little bit ago, and it was people who were talking about why they are fans of certain teams because of Little League, because they wore that team. Uh, one individual said that they are a Minnesota Twins fan, they don't live anywhere near Minnesota, but because when they were a kid in T-ball, that was their team. They were the Minnesota Twins. They were the Twins, and that became his favorite team. Uh, individuals talking about how they fell in love with, like, the Rockies or uh, the Dodgers, the Giants, teams all over the place, not because they lived close by or even they knew the players, but simply because that's what their Little League team was, and they fell in love with that team. So Houston, the Astros losing this, losing this across the nation, loses them actually the potential of drawing a larger national fan base for themselves in the future. There's a lot of people who, a lot of kids, once again, they wear that uniform, and for them, th that's their team. That's their team they're going to cheer for, root for. And now that the Astros aren't going to be in not just a few leagues, but we're talking hundreds of leagues across the nation that won't have the Astros as one of their teams anymore, that's a fan base you're going to lose. And now maybe let's say only one kid per team you know, becomes a fan. That's still a fan base. You could lose hundreds of fans, which I know, hundreds doesn't seem like a lot. But when you're talking about people who grow into diehard fans, losing even a handful, you know, that's something. That's something. That's, that's profit lost. And then that will trickle down to their kids. Their kids won't be Houston fans. And their kids. And their kids. It's so on and so on, same type of thing. So Houston's gonna, gonna feel that effect. The next thing that we're, we're looking at is the complete distrust of baseball fans with Major League Baseball. I mean, the last few years, we've already seen a decline in attendance, and that's for a lot of reasons. Uh, cost to get in, that's one reason. 
uh, just the atmosphere is not the best for fans, especially with families like mine. There's a lot of reasons why people aren't going to Major League Baseball games, and this is going to hurt it even more, I think. Now, there will be some exceptions. You know, obviously you have the Dodgers, the Yankees. They're going to sell, sell out. That's just, they're going to have huge crowds every day. It doesn't matter. That's fine. And you're also going to have crowds wherever Houston goes. So wherever Houston goes, you're probably going to have larger crowds so they can go and scream and yell at the Astros players. That's fine. But when the Astros aren't there, and when it's not the Dodgers, when it's not the Yankees, you're going to have a lower attendance. You know, that's just what it's going to be. Uh, I'm thinking about Seattle. I live near Seattle. Like I said, if you guys watch my videos, especially the one I talked about why I, I'm not as much a Major League Baseball fan as I used to be, I let you guys know I haven't been to a Major League Baseball game in two years. This will be year three, barring the fact that if I get free tickets or something like that, which I don't enter to win contests. So unless someone in my family decides to buy tickets, some reason they can't go and they give them to me, I'm not going to a game. And that's fine with me. I'm not, not, not worried about that. I don't really care to go at this point. But this will take other fans who are fringe fans and drive them away from the game. So you're going to hurt that bottom line of profits as well. So now all of a sudden you have future fan base hurt. You have current fan bases, you know, not trusting Major League Baseball, not going to games. That's a financial loss um, that could have been easily turned into a positive. I mean, there's things that could have been done to help draw fans back in. Now, I will say this. Tampa Bay is doing a special little thing where uh, you pay like 35, 36 bucks a month and you have standing room only tickets, which we all know what that means. If there's a big open area, you go sit in that open area because no one cares. Um, but you just have that. They also have like the winner's package where you get four tickets. Uh, you choose four games to go to. If they if the team wins all four games, you get a free ticket. And if they win that game, you get another free ticket, which that's awesome. But let's put it this way. That's an awesome thing. That makes you want to go cheer for your team. So I love that. Love that. Cool things. But you're still talking about a loss in attendance overall, largely because of this the scandal and the division between the fans, Major League Baseball, and, and the commissioner's office. So we jump into another thing that's going to happen, and it has already been seen quite a bit, is the fact that the division between the players' union and the commissioner's office was already bad as to begin with. Now it's going to be even worse. The divide is going to be huge, and that leads to, to one thing, work stoppage. Whether it's a strike or a lockout, we are on the verge of this happening. This is... This is not a, you know, long term, maybe might happen. This is a sh on the short term reality. This is coming right now. If things don't get worked out in the next, what, year, we're going to see work stoppage. We're going to lose baseball at the major league level because, because of this. So this situation has created an even bigger divide between the players union. You now you see Clark, who's making comments. You see Manfred, who's making idiotic comments, which is causing that division to grow even more. It's it's hurting the game. You know, it's hurting the game. And once again, work stoppage. That's a horrible thing to say for professional sports. But we're looking at work stoppage at this point. You know, and then not just a divide between the players union and the commissioner's office. We're seeing a divide, maybe for the first time in my lifetime, really, of the players themselves. We're seeing a divide. And it may just be the Astros and everyone else. But it's truly becoming a divided player group. And the, the honesty and the candor that's been coming out lately has been pretty, pretty strong. I mean, once again, Mike Trout is saying stuff. Aaron Judge is saying stuff. You've got guys like Bauer and Clevenger who are always talking. But when you throw in guys like Trout, when you throw in guys like Judge, Bellinger, and you have them starting to voice their their frustration and their anger at the Astros, at the commissioner, at all these things, you now have a players union, a group of players that has been a fraternity for years, and now they're separating. They're dividing. This is going to hurt when it comes to work stoppage because you're going to have the commissioner's office trying to negotiate with the players union as a whole, and you're going to have groups within the players union who are going to be disagreeing on everything. So you have to have one group trying to agree with a big group that actually has two, three, four subgroups, they're going to be causing a lot of a lot of fighting. That's what's going to happen. You're going to have a lot of issues. They're going to be brought out. I would not be surprised if in the next year, 
pay, or websites like The Athletic, ESPN.com, and a few others like that are going to start running stories that are going to be pretty, pretty big and pretty powerful in terms of the divide between players. <coughs> and that's not good. That's not good having the players um, split like that. So that's a big thing. That's a big thing that's got to be you know paid attention to. And then the last thing that I think people need to realize real worldwide is the effects and the consequences is you have angry fan bases. Not just angry fan bases that are going to not go to games, but you have angry fan bases that are going to go to games. And let's be honest, if you are an Astros fan, do not, do not go to opposing ballparks wearing your Astros stuff. I'm just, I'm just saying this right now. You've got to be smarter than that. It's like you don't wear Giants gear and go into Dodger Stadium. It's just not a smart decision. I mean, you just, people can say, oh, 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 yeah, you're fine. They'll just make fun of you. Do that. No, it's not a smart thing to wear giant stuff in a Dodger Stadium. It's not a smart thing to do. It's just not. And I would say that now, if you wear Astros gear into another team's stadium, whether you hate the cheating scandal, support your team, whatever it is, you are putting yourself in a bad situation because there are angry fan bases that will go out there, get drunk, and have physical altercations, possibly life-endangering, life-threatening situations. Um, once again, when you go to the fans, you know they're going to get drunk. You know you're going to have those crazy drunk guys all over the stadium, and when they see an Astros uniform, it's going to trigger them. It is. And you're going to have that across Major League Baseball. This might be the year in which we have some of the darkest most horrific stories coming out of stadiums that we've ever had. And we've had some bad ones. We've had some bad ones at Dodger Stadium. We, we've had some horrible ones down there. But this year, there is the potential for even more horrible things like this. And if that happens, more people are going to be afraid to go to games. Whether they're Astros fans or not, there's still going to be that fear of going to a game puts your family and yourself at risk. It just... It's a sad but honest truth that that's what we're looking at right now is we're looking at a situation where because of what's going on, because of the separation between fans, commissioner, players and the commissioner, players within themselves, there is this anger, this frustration, this distrust that's coming out and it's hurting the game of baseball. It's going to hurt it for a long time. This is not a one year and then it's over type of thing. This is not going to be forgotten. This is not going to just blow over. This is something that will be talked about for years to come. And fan bases are not going to forget. They're just not. And so this situation, once again, whether you side with the Astros, against the Astros, whether you think their, their punishment is fine, whether you think their punishment is too soft, whether you think Manfred is right or wrong, the bottom line is this is hurting baseball. It is hurting baseball all the way through. Uh, and you'll see ripple effects that if Major League Baseball loses baseball fans, that younger generation, little leagues across the nation are going to be hurting. They already are. Here in my hometown, little leagues are dying. They're flat out dying. And if this happens and continues, it will only get worse, which will affect high school game, which will affect the college game. You will see it trickle down effect. So guys, I know this was a kind of a bummer of a of a video, but I'm just saying my goal has always been to grow the game, but what is happening right now is is doing the opposite of that. So it's going to take the fans, because it's really it's up to the fans to really do a grassroots revival, in essence, of the game of baseball. Getting that younger generation excited, getting that younger generation out on the field again. Because I mean not only do you have this issue, but you also have to fight with video games. I mean, it's true. Video games are something you have to fight with. You have to fight with other sports that the kids want to do, which is great. If a kid wants to go do football or basketball or track, or like that, go for it as long as you're outside doing something. But baseball is losing the fight right now. Baseball is losing the fight. So, guys, I'm Josh, the 90 Know It All. These are just my thoughts, kind of my. Oh my gosh, the, the world's coming to an end type of thing. But 
hopefully you guys will see that there's some truth in this and that we as a fan base have to begin to step out and and revive the game however we can to create that positive atmosphere so once again guys thanks for watching check in tomorrow as we have some more videos it just it's time to have some fun time for baseball hopefully at some point we can get past all this and just have a good day of watching baseball talk to you guys later